He's trying to give it. Not today. The defensive breakdown, look, I, I knew I had safety help, and uh, he tried to outside release, but I was playing outside leverage. I played to my technique. I stuck to the coaching. I, I played my assignment, alignment, my technique, and I got the win. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, first and foremost, thank you for coming out here. Um, again, my name is Pierre Desir, Um And I just wanted to just, you know, give a brief summary of the reason why I wanted to get involved with Samaritan's Feet. Um, I met Manny about two years ago, and uh, I heard his story. I heard his, uh, his passion for wanting to give back to the community. And I know for me, it's, I was always trying to find a way to give back and uh, inspire hope. And uh, you know, Samaritan's Feet is one of those organizations that not only provides shoes to people in need, provides hope, a sense of confidence for the children. Um, every time I'm doing these events, you, know, you give a pair of shoes, you see the excitement, you see how uh, you know how empowering it is, and get that connection with the kids. And uh, for me, it's just uh, it's just a blessing, and I continue uh, to try to you know whichever way I can, whatever way I can do it, is to give back and. Uh, you know, we're, we're so fortunate, many of us are so fortunate to, you know, walk into a store, buy a pair of shoes, or, you know, you know buy a pair of socks, and some of these kids, they don't have that luxury to do so, and uh, I know for me, being in a position of, that I'm in, um, I feel that it's my duty to give back, and one of the ways is, is with Samaritan's Feet, so um, I just want to say I appreciate everyone coming out here, um, I just want to leave you with one thing, and, and something that's a uh, um, quote, that I've been trying to uh, live by is uh, by Winston Churchill. Um, we make a living by uh, by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. A stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith. We will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day, this will be the day with all of God's children. To be able to sing with new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And so let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring. From the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania, let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last.